Okay, yun ang narrative nila. Nakita naman natin yun. I think kinikilala ko yun. Na at the height of the war on drugs, at the height of the killings, marami na pumalakpak sa kanya. Marami na parang naniniwala na maganda yun, supposedly for peace and order. Pero hindi naman. How can that be good for law and order kung may patayan? That's lawlessness. So, narrative nila yan eh. Parang binabaliktad na nga nila. Yung parang sinasabi nila, I think sa Senate, yung sinasabi nila uh, Senator Bato and Senator and, and Bongo na sabi nila is tingnan natin, pakinggan natin yung mga um, magsasabi na uh, tumahimik sa komunidad nila. Wala nang mga ba sira ulo dyan because of the war on drugs. Yun ang narrative nila. Parang dinideflect nila. They wanted to show the killing is, it is uh, all right when it is not. Hindi yun ang issue eh. Yung pagpatay ang issue. So, hindi na nakakagulat yun na ganun nga. Ako, kaya ako, linakasan ko lang yung loob ko. Na in spite of the fact na nakikita ko uh, mataas yung approval no uh, war on drugs i uh, i had to do something about it kasi nga maraming mga pinatay uh, ginagawa po yan ng mga abogado ko at, at uh, yung sa mga tungkol dun sa mga gawagawang kaso against me we are of course looking at Mr. Duterte because definitely siya naman talaga ang may kagagawa niyan siyang nagutos kina former Justice Secretary Aguirre dun sa mga pag-file ng mga fabricated cases na yan and inaalam pa namin kung sino pa yung mga iba yung mga handlers yung mga nag-access dun sa mga bilibid uh, inmates para to falsely testify against me. Ito namang revelations ni, uh, ni Kerwin Espinosa na binabawi na niya at tinuro niya si uh, Senator Bato. Ay, we are also preparing cases against Senator Bato. And here is a witness directly implicating him sa pagkukoerce sa kanya, sa pagturo sa akin. This is within his personal knowledge. So, mas madali niyang i-prove yan. Na, uh, at, pero ang, ang, ang ano ko dyan is It's not only at the level of Senator Bato. Uh, sigurado ako na si Presidente rin, si dating Presidente Duterte rin, ang may utos kay Senator Bato, then PNP Chief, na idiin ako dyan sa Kerwin Espinosa illegal drug trade. Pinag-aaralan po yan ng aming mga abogado. Kasi he would be really the, the direct witness on, the, on that. Siya magiging state witness. Pero ini-evaluate pa po lahat yan. Kitignan natin kung anong pinaka-direction nila. Ang worry ko nga dyan, that's why I'm still pushing for Truth Commission, in spite of the, you know, great efforts of Quadcom, na hindi ko actually, uh, honestly, I didn't, I, I didn't expect na ganyan ang magiging takbo sa Quadcom, na, dumad, na dumami at dumadami ang lumalabas ng mga revelasyon. Uh, now, we have a Senate, who will, which will also be conducting An inquiry. Basta ba hindi yan to be chaired or presided by either uh, Senator Bato or Senator Bongo? Kasi napaka-questionable ng ano nila dyan, yung sa interest nila, personal interest, because they are being directly implicated. Tingnan natin kung ano ang mga magiging direction din ng Senato. Even then, mas maigi pa rin kasi I don't think either the Quad Committee or the Senate magkakaroon ng sapat na panahon na tingnan lahat yan kasi uh, complexities of the drug war hindi lang yung mga tungkol sa pagpatay yung yung lahat na, na mga pwedeng tingnan and, and you know the core mandate of Congress is lawmaking pass a passage of a le leg yung legislation process so I don't kasi paano yan baka mapabayaan na yung mga ibang trabaho nila and mas maganda lalo na kasi there's this possibility also na magkakaroon din ng mga magkaiba ng mga magiging findings or conclusions, both the Senate and the uh, House of Representatives. Kaya mas maigi na na meron talagang independent body composed of, you know, like jurists and then respected people sa law enforcement sector, etc. So yan po ang aking uh, pananaw dyan. Siguro mas maganda later kung meron pa rin Truth Commission. No, they invited me. I received I received a uh, notice. 
Yeah, why should, uh, I don't have any reason not to. Uh, uh, so uh, why not? It depends if the, if the uh, committee again invites me. Kung sakaling dumating na, either in the next, uh, next hearing or whatever subsequent hearings, kung iimbitahan po ako, pupunta po ako. Okay, hindi naman siguro lahat sila ay kasama dun sa committee na yun. Committee on Justice and Human Rights. Kaya nga, sinabi ko kanina, hindi ko mapigilan, sinabi ko na hindi naman talaga yung pinakapakay nung inquiry na yun in 2016, yung believe it drug trade. Ako naman talaga ang pinaka-target. And I suppose they realize that already. Whoever, yung mga nag-participate talaga dun sa vilification sa akin, sa panbabastos sa akin, you all saw that, I... Sana, sana naiisip na nila yan, sana ay uh, nauusig na rin sila ng kanilang konsyensya na mali yung ginawa nila. Hello ma'am, ako, ako na. Ma'am, sorry, good afternoon. Ganeska po from Jemaine News Online. Ma'am, how do you feel returning here as a resource person when, you know, just recent past, you have been subjected by the same... Uh, the same institution to an uh, unflattering to say the least yung inquiry sa inyo in the past and now parang they treat you as a valuable resource person so how do you feel about the turn of events well it's really very relieving for me and it's very you know i feel good about it i feel great about it kasi dati talagang masakit yun para sa akin na ganun ang ginawa nung iba na mga miyembro ng committee na yon na talagang uh, pinakialaman yung personal life ko, sinira, yung, siniraan yung pagkababae ko, mga kabastusan, mga below the belt na mga questions, masakit yun para sa akin. Pero ako naman ngayon sa itong usapin ng EJKs and their war on drugs, uh, kung saan talaga, well, kung saan yung makakakuha ng katotohanan at hustisya, yung libo-libong biktima ng war on drugs, I will offer always myself to any forum, including the House of Representatives. At pang pagrespeto na rin ng House of Representatives. Hindi na po ako in incumbent senator ngayon. Dati, I could always, I would always, I can always cite yung uh, parliamentary, interparliamentary courtesy that they cannot compel me to attend uh, the hearings here. Pero ngayon, I'm just a private citizen now. So, uh, if invited, I have nothing to hide. I am, I am very willing to share what I know, what my thoughts, my, uh, my insights and views on the subject matter, especially EJ case. Of course, there's still the politics angle on it, because na po parang dating usap natin is a Duterte witch hunting operation. Na parang you're you're out to get the former president. Of course, the social media, the anti Benigno forces always did denounce you. Na dami mo kasi nasabi ang kaya na parang you're out to get the former president. What's your take on it? I'm out for truth, um, and justice and accountability. You know, hindi ito, it's not a matter of vendetta or vengeance. It's about justice. Kasi biktima rin ako. Hindi lang yung mga libo-libong pinatay. So this is not about that. What, what political considerations are they talking about? When I was right there as uh, one of the earliest victims of uh, Duterte. Kasi EJ case nga, yung karamihan ng ano, ako... Inano nila yung aking reputation sa mga gawa-gawa, mga kasinungalingan. So don't you think anyone else would, would do the same to really search more for truth and demand for accountability sa ginawa sa akin? Hindi basta-basta yung ginawa sa akin. In fact, that was an unprecedented case of persecution. Are you also willing to personally assist ko yung pamilya ng mga EJK victims na walang magpuntahan ngayon or nahihirapan ka Oh yes, because sometimes I would also interact with the certain NGOs handling the, uh, this uh, EJK families, uh, assisting this EJK families. Are you ready to face the president? Uh, president? Well, if I'm, in, I'm invited to the next hearing, yes. Inihintay ko siya ngayon eh. He did not. So that's why my message is, sana magpagaling na siya para may sapat na lakas na harapin ang, ang uh, lahat ng mga binabato 
sa kanya. So why should I be afraid of him? I'm never afraid of him. I've proven that I'm beyond uh, his. Uh, I'm beyond being threatened by him. Aminin mo na, Pangulong Duterte. Aminin mo yung kasalanan mo sa akin, na pinag-initan nyo na lang ako, inimbento nyo yung mga kaso against me. Aminin mo na rin na ikaw talaga ang pinaka-ano, ng pinaka-involved bilang mastermind, nag-utos, nag-induce. Nakikita natin yan, lumalabas na yan lahat ngayon, yung pag-perform ng that special group, the special task force headed by Colonel Leonardo, according to Colonel Garma. Aminin na niya sana para matahimik na rin yung mga biktima, matahimik yung mga pamilya ng biktima na matagal-tagal na na umaasa o humihingi ng hustisya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.